Hey guys, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I have an oddly specific book challenge for you. So some of you might have seen the Happy Mail video that came out a little while ago where um, one of you guys um, sent me some Happy Mail, um, Lynn, and she requested a specific reading challenge and I've been thinking about it for a while and I'm going to do something through part of November and December where we try to read books that match oddly specific book prompts. So I'm calling this my oddly specific book challenge. It's going to start on November 15th and then run through the end of the year through December 31st. Um, I had thought about doing it all of November and December, but I'm just not ready to start something yet. So <laughs> half of November and all of December. Uh, I have a list of 27 oddly specific prompts. Some are very, very specific and some are more like kind of medium specific. Um, in terms of specificity, but I've got everything set up for us, so um, I'm not going to have everybody do it like a sign up Google form where you make a username and all that stuff this time because um, I'm not offering a prize for the, the like a giveaway or that kind of thing for the person who reads the most. Um, you get bragging rights, I guess. The good feeling of winning. Um, I at the, at the last minute, I may decide, you know what, heck, I feel like throwing something together for the, the person that, that gets the most read, but probably not, because I need to, like, set some boundaries for myself in terms of, like, not taking on too much. So, I've created the prompts list. I have created a document. You can find it in either JPEG or PDF form. I'm going to link... Um, direct links to the PDF and JPEG documents or just a link to the Google folder that has all the stuff in it and there's also Google, a Google form so I won't open the form for responses until November 15th but then just like we've done in the past with other readathons, sharkathon, that kind of stuff um, when you finish reading a book you can go in and log it you'll need to put a nickname use the same one throughout the whole thing just for fun so we can like tally who got the most done um, so you'll need to put your nickname, the title and author of the book, how many pages it had, and which prompt you're fulfilling. So, 27 prompts. I just had a hard time like narrowing it down my choices. So I'm going to go through each one of these. And the first one is one that actually Lynn suggested when she requested this kind of challenge, which is a book with three or more birds on the cover. The next one is a book written or set in the decade you were born. So for me, it would be the 1970s. It was the tail end of the 1970s. I only lived for like three months during that time, but still would be that, that for me. Uh, a book that reminds you of a Taylor Swift song. So either the title or the cover or the initial synopsis that you, you look over, it just makes you think of a Taylor Swift song, any Taylor Swift song. It could be from her country era or like all of her many eras. Um, it's totally up to you. The next one, was your last read in first or third person? Your next read should be the opposite POV. So this one isn't quite as specific, and you can see that some of them are more specific than others, as I previously mentioned. Um, a book that people will think you are smart for reading. This could vary uh, from person to person. For me, my brain immediately goes to Russian literature. <laughs> I'm like, do I really want to read a great big Russian tome right now? Probably not. So I might have to look for something else that people will think I'm smart for reading. Um, a book by an author who is not from North America or Europe. A book that gives you Studio Ghibli vibes. So like, not Howl's Moving Castle because that was made into a Studio Ghibli movie, but a book that gives you the vibes of that kind of movie. Um, a book involving tea and or potion making, a book set in a big city with cozy vibes, so it could be New York, Paris, London, like LA, any big city, uh, a book with a morally gray protagonist, a book about books or a book set in the library, 
a book with an odd number of chapters. So this one you're going to have to probably go physically to the books. Um, if you don't do like a physical owned TBR and you just like check out books from the library and stuff, you might have to do a little Googling. There's all kinds of book lists out there. So I bet if you typed in books with odd number of chapters, I bet somebody's made a list somewhere. A graphic novel that's not full color. So it might be um, that's just got a couple of colors that they're using as a main theme or maybe it's all done in black and white or it's just you know only warm tones but something that's not full color. A book where music is a big part of the story. Um, and I should say unless these are specified any age category a book is fine. Uh, a book with an arranged marriage in it. A book with a heavy winter setting. Ooh, maybe that re means I can reread Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Do your rereads count? Yes. Uh, a book set in a hotel. I'm not going to reread The Shining, though. <laughs> a book you predict you will want to hug when it's all over. And again, you're just predicting that. You're not sure, but you think, oh, I think it's going to be one of those books. Um, find a booktuber that's new to you and read one of their recommendations or one of their TBR books. A book that you think sounds dreamlike, surreal, or bizarre, like Going Bovine, which is a book that came out quite a few years ago. It's a YA book. Like, that was freaking weird. If I got, I picked up a book and was like, oh my gosh, it has those kind of vibes, that would fit that prompt. A book with Slytherin vibes. So characters that are very cunning, intelligent, maybe sneaky, maybe they don't always play by the rules. Um, this is the only Hogwarts house that I put on here because I was like, okay, I, I, I don't know how to do a book with Hufflepuff vibes. So we just went Slytherin is the only one. Um, a book with characters that write, that either write, email, or text for most of the book before meeting in real life. Think like you've got mail. Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, they email, right? Um, or what's that book that I read not too long ago that they fell in love through a magical typewriter and they wrote letters back and forth? Divine Rivals, yes. Um, a book with a fantastical creature on the cover, but not a dragon or a unicorn. Something else. A book with Christmas decorations on the cover. A mythology telling, but not Greek mythology. A book that reminds you of something you might see on Disney+. Plus. Now this could be, it reminds you of a Disney movie, it reminds you of Star Wars, Marvel, anything that's included, National Geographic, anything that's included in the Disney Plus family. And if you're not a Disney Plus subscriber, again, just Google like what's included in Disney Plus and you'll get a really good idea of what's available there. And the last one is a book featuring an animal companion of some kind. It could be any kind of animal. Um, so that's it. That's 27 prompts. Uh, it, we've got a month and a half. You can read as little as, or as much as you want to if you want to just like read one book just to participate or you want to go for as many as possible, that's totally up to you. Uh, it was kind of fun for me to put together this list. I, I watched a few channels and like did a little Googling and different things to come up with these prompts and some of them came from my own brain, which is probably the weirdest ones. But <laughs> um, I think this will be fun. And again, the very low pressure, just do however much you want to do. Join with us and, you know, have fun, but don't stress yourself out. This is meant to be an enjoyable thing. So, so if you think you might join in, hit me up in the comments below and let me know what prompts you're already excited to fulfill or if you've already got ideas for books that you want to read for those. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.